thanks so much for the invitation to your HQ. Let's have a little chat about the team's performance this season. Your second driver seems to be getting much more comfortable with their car. Have you been focusing on their development? Let's talk about your new second driver. How are they settling in? Your team's had their first win in Formula One. Is this a sign of things to come? We can see from the statistics that your teammate has made big gains in performance. What was the key to these improvements? Will your team be going for the Constructors' Championship this season, or just for points? Well, thanks so much, as ever, for your time. It's hugely appreciated. Excellent lap, we're really pleased. With qualifying finished, it's time to remind ourselves of our top three. Iceman, Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas. Well, that wraps up qualifying, but don't worry, we'll be back tomorrow as we head into the Grand Prix. It was 35 years ago that the late great Nicky Lauda took his 25th and final Grand Prix win here at Zandvoort. He came from 10th on the grid to beat his McLaren teammate Alain Prost by just two tenths of a second. Well, Zandvoort is a very different circuit today, of course, but still one with an incredible legacy. And we're going to add to that. Welcome along to the 2020 Dutch Grand Prix. A lap of this short 2.6 mile Zandvoort circuit features 14 corners, 10 to the right and four to the left. The main straight is 678 meters long and heads into turn one, the Tarzan corner. With DRS down the main straight into the braking zone, that could be the best overtaking opportunity on the track. 
Anthony Davidson is alongside me as usual for the race today. Why don't we start by talking about Carlos Sainz? Looks like they've got a tough race in store today as grid penalties from changing power unit components has forced them further down the field. But on the bright side, at least those fresh components can help them maintain the power they need to come through the pack. I expect to see them take a more aggressive approach today to make up for the compromise start. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Iceman lines up on pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Verstappen, Charles Leclerc and Vettel, Galeel, Albon, Perez and Lance Stroll, Norris, Ocon, Daniel Ricciardo and Giovinazzi, Gasly, Kvyat, Kimi Raikkonen and Roman Grosjean, Magnussen, Sainz, Russell and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. After the points finish last race, let's aim to keep the momentum going. so far. charge is high. Let's use that overtake button more.
damage, but not enough to justify a stop in the remaining laps. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. race wins in a row. What a wonderful result. Well done. A nearly flawless performance here then, and a commanding victory. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. Welcome then to the podium, our top three drivers. What a great effort from them today in a very difficult race. So let's review the updated driver's standings. Iceman increases their championship lead. Some amazing talent out on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Max Verstappen seemed to just effortlessly weave through the other drivers today without a care in the world. He was definitely my driver of choice. I know that's at odds with the official decision, but I think they deserve some recognition on a day where both of these drivers are at the top of their game. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. The current leaders continue to extend their lead at the top. There was also a strong showing from the Mercedes team today as they make their way up the standings. Well, that was certainly an incredible weekend of racing. Be sure to join myself and Ant for more exciting Formula One action soon. The fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. How are you feeling after that win? It's looking like the championship is already won. Do you think there's still time for this to change? You left a lot of paint on the walls today. Were you struggling for grip or did you just misjudge some corners? Do you have any comments about the collisions? Appreciate your time.